guys, welcome back. We today, uh, if you can't see here, I got a finally got my tripod set up, but uh, we got ourselves a tool haul, big one today. Um, just wanted to run it over with you guys real quick, show you what I got. Let's uh, get right into it. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is the Mantis rechargeable light. Um, these things you can get, I got it at the parts store. Um, I think they sell for about 25 bucks. Uh, this thing, I've already beat the crap out of it. It's nice and bright, colored, so you can see where, where you left it and whatnot. Um, the magnet underneath there, super awesome. Super strong. Um, let me get it over here, you see, super strong. It's got a little rotating to it. It's got three modes to it. It's got a low, a high, and an end beam. And, uh, then it's got an indicator back here. Show you what the uh, uh, light is. This thing right here has been awesome. For $25, it is probably the best pocket light you can get. I do have a Coast AR9. I do love it. But I have since kind of gone to this and brought my Coast as a, a backup. But uh, the uh, this is a Mantis. Um, the part number on it, model number is an LNC Mini. It's LNC Mini. See if that'll focus. Probably not. It's an LNC Mini. That's the that's the model number. Um, this thing has, uh, I think it's about 150 lumens, 200 lumens. As you can see, it's not it's not dim. It's got some brightness to it, and uh, everybody I gave it to is impressed. So that's the Mantis LNC Mini. Great tool. Uh, next thing. Kind of basic, but I got rid of some of my old spark plugs. Um, the older style spark plug sockets. Maco had a deal on these, so I got the uh, magnetic um, spark plug sockets. And like I said, some people say that the uh, magnet part causes the porcelain to break. Um, I have used these and haven't experienced any issue with them. Um, as you can see, I changed a set of spark plugs in a Chrysler and a Jeep and a set of spark plugs in a Ford um, and uh, yeah I, I thought I think they work great the snap-on has a tapered design and a plug nothing against the snap-on ones but the plugs are a pain in the ass to take out so um, that part number is sorry I gotta get used to putting the part numbers up here is an SPK 5A and uh, I am sure that you can buy the gear wrench brand and it's probably the same exact one, but Matco guy was here. He had a deal on it. I like the Matco guy. Super nice guy. So um, that's, that's that. He also, I bought a ton of Matco stuff this week. Also picked up the kneeling pad. Um, this is a KP 1019 kneeling pad. I have the full pad up there that I keep on the back of the box. The kneeling pad comes in handy. I'm getting older and don't like my knees getting chewed up, so we're going to kind of blow through these. Then uh, the next thing I got was some snap-on. Now, they sell these in a kit, and they're about $100, but I didn't want the kit because the other clamps are kind of cheesy. But uh, these are for uh, banjo fittings and steel line stoppers. Um, these, uh, the part numbers on these are SLS12SO. Um, and these things are definitely, if you're clamping brake lines with a vice grip, you are the problem. I literally have replaced two brake lines on cars now because of collapsed brake lines. And not only that, the bad part about it was I didn't catch it, so I bought calipers to replace on them. And uh, those freaking calipers were obviously not bad, so I returned the calipers, replaced the brake lines because people crush those brake lines. Believe it or not, they collapse. And uh, whenever you put a, a vice grip on those rubber brake lines, it collapses them. So this right here is how you properly stop or put a stopper on the brake line is by putting these clips on the end. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's some guys that will probably say, oh, bull, whatever, you know. But these things are around for a reason. Um, I also have, these are for the steel lines. They go over the top where the, the uh, flare is. And they fit on there just like so. That's why they're cut out. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll do a video on these here later. But uh, they uh, they just clip over the top like so. 
and then clamp that your nut up against that flare and that's how you do that now I didn't get all of them I got I'm missing one still I got three of the four that I ordered um, and these things are roughly about 15 bucks a piece I think but uh, well worth the money um, there's a couple other companies that make them quite frankly I know that they I paid a little bit more for the snap on but uh, for the warranty wise I don't care this is the banjo one and this is what I really wanted was these for the banjo fittings they obviously go around both sides of the banjo clamp on you don't clamp on the line um, this part number is a SLS banjo SO that's a SLS banjo SO these I uh, definitely am I'm glad I bought those um, next thing I bought too um, was tired of not having small wire brushes and Matco guy had these on there um, this is a stainless steel twisted wire brush set that goes into your um, cordless tool quick release um, I've already used these and definitely happy I bought them pretty cheap I think they were 15 bucks part numbers SSTWBB6 um, can't say they got a 8 millimeter size sorry package is a little dirty 8 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 15, 17, and 19. Uh, definitely, and all the all the part are all the sizes are printed right on the little head. So that way, if you got a 15 millimeter bolt, and my camera's not going to focus, it's going to be stubborn. Anyways, the part number's right there, on, or the size is right there. Every one of them's got the size, so. Um, I use the uh, 17 mil, um, and I've used the uh, I think I use a 12 mil, and uh, I'm pretty happy with them. And I think they're expendable, so you can throw these away. But I think they were only 15 bucks, and I'll probably buy another pack just for a backup. Um, next thing I got, this is another big. I mean, this is a big tool haul. Um, was the half inch dual 80 flexible locking uh, in uh, half inch drive wrench. Um, this thing's a beast. Snap on, or Matco makes one that's longer and it's a 30 inch. Um, the reason I didn't go with the Matco is because the price difference was actually Snap on was cheaper for the shorter one. Even that the 24 inch, which this is a 24 inch half inch breaker bar, um, Snap on was still cheaper. And I, I do have concerns about getting my warranty stuff through Matco, so. Um, there's only one guy in our area, which is a pretty big area. So, um, but the dual 80s are very nice. Uh, and and the other reason why I got this is because I actually put a five foot cheater bar, and I'm not no little fella, on a lug nut on a uh, um, uh, Tahoe, and I stood on it, and this thing didn't break. So it's pretty beefy. I am kind of a little bit. I don't, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not a big fan of these locking flex edge from Snap-on, so I definitely think Matco has got a better design. Um, this thing slips off all the time, so if you don't want it to flex, which I try to keep it off is like that, but for some reason it jerks, it just bumps over, and, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not too sold on this yet, on this locking. It's nice and quick, but, you know, whatever, it's kind of a, it's a moot point, it's really not that big a deal to me I don't get caught up in that kind of business so um, picking things apart or like that the actual function of it is what matters to me most and, and that thing functions and it's it's solid it I guarantee you you won't break that half inch uh, uh, ratchet if you do you need to we need to talk because you know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pretty good sized dude and I put some, I put the beans to it. I poured it to them and, uh, you know, anyhow, um, the next thing I got, I needed a new torch. Um, I bought a Weller too, and it's not here yet, but, uh, I needed a new, um, cordless torch. I really want to get the Milwaukee electric one, but, uh, just not feeling it yet. Um, haven't really seen anything that's been definitive that said that it was good to go. Um, so this is an SK8. MAT, um, he had a good deal on these things. Um, I, uh, I, I think it'll be all right. I, we'll see how it works, but 
it definitely gets hot enough. I've been doing a lot of soldering, a lot of electrical. Um, I tried it out. This thing got smoking hot. Um, it's got a nice aluminum housing. Um, my old torch finally gave up the ghost after seven years. So, um, and it was um, Econo Torch Master Cra Master Cool. Um, so, <clears throat> I could have bought the Portisol or the one from Snap On, which is basically a Portisol, but. Uh, the price difference for this, um, this thing hopefully will work out good. I'm not as hard on tools as some guys. I take pretty good care of my stuff, so I don't normally have the stuff. But it's got a flux tray in it. Um, you got your sponge. Clean off your tips. Heat shield. Um, it's got a couple tips in it. Smaller tip. Um, bigger tip. Um, knife tip. This flat blade tip, I'm not really sure. It's like an angle. Uh, I'm guessing that's for um, cutting, but uh, uh, all in all, I think it'll be a pretty decent kit. It's got a nice case with it, nice window in it to see everything. Nothing too fancy, nothing out of the ordinary, pretty basic stuff, but uh, still a nice kit. And, uh, you know, like I said, the macro guy gave me a deal on it, plus he gave me free heat shrink. It came with the soldering torch, so wasn't free but you know um it's a good deal so anyways that's the part number on that if you guys are looking for a heat shrink kit sk sdk 160 so uh, uh next thing next thing we got was a half to three eighths locking extension for doing trainees uh we had a few of these come in i've got a 24 inch but i just wanted a big one we're starting to do some of these truck trainees and uh, had a F-150 and uh, just needed this guy. A little disappointed. I, I thought I was going to get a snap on. I got a blue point, which means that most likely I could have probably found this anywhere cheaper. Um, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not a fan. I don't have, I don't own very much blue point stuff because I don't, I'd rather buy name brand stuff. Just the simple fact is I get the warranty on it. You know, I work in the shop and I'm busy. I don't have time for it. I'll spend the money. But uh Anyways, uh, so that's just pretty standard, half to three quarter. Then I picked up uh, some uh, AC stuff. Um, this thing's pretty, pretty neat. Got a uh, um, black light on it. Came with some glasses. Pretty basic. Um, was when I bought the Mantis at the parts store. But here's the cool thing about it. Yeah. Oh, we're not done yet. Look at that. And this is a magnet on the end. Let me give you some. Let me show you here. Yeah. So this dual tool, when the light goes bad in it, <laughs> um, and, get, and the parts store guys gave this to me. But uh, um, <clears throat> anyways, it's you know well worth the money. It's got a magnet here. Um, this nice little quick black light if you're doing AC checks. So that's kind of nice. Um, Next thing I got was I bought a set of new fluke leads. Um, needed a new set and got all the nice leads here um, for my multimeter. Um, so these are all banana clips. Um, and uh, it's got a nice magnetic strap to it. So when I'm trying to do a diagnose, I can hang this thing up on the car and it'll stay right there. And then boom, I can have both hands free i got banana clips so i can plug them in definitely a big fan of banana clips that's kind of a that's kind of a thing for me i don't do anything electrical without banana clips that's what i want to do so thanks a lot guys